crafters it's Cynthia again I am back with um, my final video for the featuring of this stamp which is my my favorite things wavy coloring book background stamp and I have made now three other videos featuring cards that I used this beautiful stamp with and so today I wanted to do my fourth and final um, style of card so I'm going to set that aside and when I was thinking of ideas for backgrounds I was picturing you know using different techniques and all that so the idea that I came up with for this one I thought about doing just an area of coloring and leaving the rest plain and I'd highlight that colored spot and then the sentiment I wanted it to say you color my world so I knew that I had this stamp set from my favorite things and it's called rainbow of happiness and it's a whole bunch of different sentiments where you can um, use the word rainbow rainbows um, color and then all these other like you blank my world so you color my world and um, I knew I had this so that's why I wanted to use it and it also has these pretty word dies and so you'll see that I use um, color in a couple different ways so I did a lot of pre-work because this was going to be a little more involved so what I've done is I've taken a little panel which will become my card front and I cut this at three and three quarters by five inches and then I took a piece of scrap paper and I used one of my um, Spellbinders circle dies and just cut out a nice size circle and I'm going to use this as my coloring template so what I'm going to do is I kind of want to highlight a spot um, on the left side here and I want it to be sort of in the middle of the card front maybe a little bit on the higher side so I'm gonna find a little spot just looking through the circle until I find a spot that looks good so I think I'll stop here and then just for my own peace of mind I'm gonna go ahead and tape my template down because I don't want that shifting and then I'm gonna put a little piece of tape I'm gonna make a loop so now it's sticky on both sides and I'm also going to secure my card base or my card front down to the craft mat just to keep things from shifting around and so what's going to happen is that I'm going to color but only inside this circle and everything else will be black and white so naturally depending on how you want to do this um, you know you can customize the colors to the person's preference or whatever you'd like to do and you can certainly use any medium you like I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, Tombow markers here and these are the dual gosh I can't think what they're called anyway they've got a bullet tip on one end and they've got a nice brush tip on the other so depending on what you're doing I usually use the brush tip anyway so I have an, a rainbow assortment of colors here and they don't name their colors they number them so the red I'm using is 856 the orange is 925 the yellow is 055 the green is 195 the lighter blue is 452, darker blue 555, lighter purple 676, and the dark purple is 636. So just so you know what I'm using. And then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, speed, up the, speed up the video and put on some music so that um, you can watch me color but it'll be faster. So um, I'll come back and talk to you again when I'm done coloring.
All right, so that is all that crazy rainbow coloring done. And now I'm gonna lift off the template. And you can see that that circle is the only thing that's colored. And I think that's a very cool look. It's very striking. <laughs> and definitely wanted to give the idea that just like the sentiment says, you color my world. So in other words, your world is all black and white, but then this one person colors your world. <laughs> so the other thing I wanted to do now that this is colored, I just have a piece of black here that I'm going to use as um, kind of a framing piece. So this one was cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to use my tape runner. So other than all that coloring, it's going to be a pretty straightforward card. But that's kind of the point, is that you want that coloring to really be the focal. So I'll get that down here. And then my card base is just an A2 size, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just going to stick this down. I'm going to be a little conservative with my tape runner. These ones run out so fast. And with about $5 a refill, I don't want to be refilling that every couple of days. That adds up fast. All right, so now I'm just going to get that centered best I can. Very, very cute. And then the sentiment strip I've already done. And for the word color, I used the color stamp word in my Versamark ink and then I used this really pretty uh, turquoise blue um, embossing powder which I've had for many many years and anyway I just love that color so I'm going to put it right here so that it just barely covers and again I'm not going to pop it up or anything I think I'll just leave this kind of flat I'm going through a, a flat card phase. <laughs> so let me get this lined up. Pump that down. All right. There. I think that looks really, really pretty. And then I just uh, did a real simple flag and just to give it a little something. And then the other way, when I first did this, I decided that I wanted to do some sponging. So on the flip side of my template here, you can see where I laid it down about right there and uh, did all of my sponging. And then I just used, like in my other card, uh, the rainbow card that I did, um, I just used the same distress inks. So it was barn door, spiced marmalade, mustard seed, mowed lawn, salty ocean, and blueprint sketch. So I just used all of those colors. And then um, I took a little extra strip of that uh, Nina Silver White and I also just sponged it just in real small little stripes if you will and did a lot of blending so that I could cut out the word color. So this looks really really pretty. I've done kind of ombre word stamping before that turned out really nice but this was real pretty in that rainbow look. So again it's it's exact match because it's all the same distress inks. And then the background um, it was just, of course, the black and white, but that looked so stark to me somehow. And so <laughs> I actually took the time to color in this whole area with two different shades of gray. And uh, 
in my Copic markers. So it has a very gray cast to it, which I think is really pretty. And then uh, that soft rainbow. So I think this looks better. Somehow the starkness of the black and white, it looks good with this vibrant, vibrant uh, marker, but it was too washed out with this soft coloring. So anyway, that's why I did it that way. So this also is just going to get put down on an A2 card base. And then the sentiment strip, this time I didn't flag the end, but that was okay. I think it looks just fine anyway. And then the uh, white portion of this is an inch wide, and then the black underneath is an inch and a quarter, and then I just cut it to whatever length worked. So there's not an exact measurement. It was, you know, around three and a half inches roughly. So you can hear my cat squawking wildly in the background. He's a Persian but he acts like a Siamese. <laughs> He's the loudest cat I've ever met in my life. And that's not a compliment. <laughs> All right, so here they are side by side. I'm awfully partial to this one, uh, but this one is a lot of fun too. So it just depends on the look that you're going for. And of course you can do yours completely different, but um, this is a fun technique. So you can apply this to any background stamp that you have and you can use a single color, you can do whatever you'd like, but um, you should play around with this idea because it's really cute. And if you have a heart-shaped die, it'd be an awful lot of fun to cut out a heart and then lay that down and color in your heart red or pink or something and make some really cute Valentine's cards. So anyway, I hope you give this a try and I really appreciate your sitting in this video with me. And um, this is, like I said, gonna be the, the last video where I feature this background stamp. I'm sure I'll use it again in the future plenty, but um, I'm done focusing on this now, and I've got more stamps that are brand new that I want to share with you. So please come back for my videos coming up soon, and in the meantime, you guys take care and have fun. Bye!